What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Red River Aviation. Hope you guys have a fantastic day today and today we're going to be doing quite a different video today. Today we're going to be going over the original first ever Gemini Jets Airport Terminal Building uh, Complex that came out a long time ago. This is a very very cool item that I have and I kind of was thinking of different things to do today and I thought that this would be a really cool uh, thing to go over this uh, airport complex terminal. So anyways I hope you guys are excited for today's video. We got a lot to jump into so as you can tell here in this big frame we have uh, the majority of the contents. Uh, this isn't like necessarily an unboxing. This is like a, I guess a review if you want to put it that way. So uh, there's a lot to this. Uh, this is a very, very cool, uh, pretty much, I'll just go over the little, sto some stories here. So with this airport complex, I was really inspired to get it of course, because this is literally like, you were the cool kid on the block if you had this concourse back in the day, 2010, or sorry, you can date back to when it came out pretty much. I think it was probably around 2006 or seven. I have honestly no idea just because I could not find anything online. There's nothing on the box. So I want to say it was probably 2006 or seven, maybe 2005 range. If somebody would confirm, that would be nice. But anyways, here it is. This is the one of 400 scale airport terminal building by Gemini Jets. The first one out of the three that they have done, I believe. And the one of 400 scale, of course. Now, like I was saying, you were, it was kind of a huge goal to get this in your collection. Uh, this got very... Yeah, very rare, very quickly. Um, I want to say they stopped producing it around 2007 or 8, probably. It didn't have a crazy long run time, pardon me. Um, the main reasons that the production stopped, I believe, just because it was mainly just too big for some people. Um, it's a 22-gate facility, so uh, you can park a lot of planes at this uh, concourse. But nevertheless, people still ate it up. And as more collectors started to get into collecting, they really wanted their concourse, and it really became hard to find. Luckily, I came across mine on eBay for a very solid price uh, at the time. Uh, I got it for about $475, which was a very good price for the time. Um, definitely one of the best deals I've ever seen on it and um, f as of recently. And then um, I've had it for seven years, obviously. So uh, nowadays, it doesn't really come off very often, honestly. Um, when I usually do see it, it's usually around the $1,000 price range. It rarely does come up uh, just because it's an awesome facility. One thing that did happen, though, in the timeline is... Uh, in 2000, I want to say it was 12 or 13 around that time frame. Uh, Gemini Jets came out with the seven gate concourse, which I do have. Mine's kind of beat up, so I won't show it. But uh, Gemini came out with the seven gate concourse, and believe it or not, that was around when I started collecting, and that was uh, one of my Christmas presents uh, in the late 2012. Was that original concourse, and I lived off that for a while, which was very very cool. I had the mat and everything. Also, there is a mat that goes with this one. Obviously, I'm sure you guys have seen it. It's a really really big mat. It's like Oh boy, um, it's big. <laughs> um, I don't know if there's like any big YouTubers, if you want to put it that way, that still use it. I know um, one guy that I was a big fan of, one of my biggest inspirations, John P3922, or now known as Ben Powell. He used the mat quite a lot. Um, a Flyer Triple Sevens, the guy that comes to mind, he used it for all of his airport stuff. Uh, mm, I don't know if there's anybody else that comes to mind off the top of my head. Lone Warrior 6, he, he used it as well. So quite a few guys used it. It was really, really cool. But anyways, I know this is more of a review, but I kind of want to just go into it uh, in depth. And then I believe in 2017 or 18, Gemini Jets finally after high demand because this was kind of a big deal. Collectors really wanted a big concourse. Came out with their new uh, airport roundabout relux or whatever. It's another 22 gate concourse, just like this one for the most part, but it is that bluish color and it has in pieces. It's a very, very cool one. I know like IDs Aviation uses it and quite a few other people do use that facility. I kind of thought about that one, but I was like, uh, it's like $600 or something. So I was like, uh, that's a little much. So what a history uh, airport complexes have and i know quite a few of you guys still use the seven gate concourse as well so very very cool but nevertheless this is our review of the one of 400 scale airport terminal building by gemini jets in 2000 or for the or first one so we will begin with the box here okay so here's the box and as you can see it is large with the shotgun microphone i really don't want to get up there and kind of show you guys just because of how bad the audio would be so anyways uh, yeah, at the top, you had the one 400 scale airport terminal building, and then you have a very nice picture here of the concourse, as you can tell. Let me see if I can turn the box. There we go. As you can tell, we have a very nice picture here of the uh, box, and then we have um, a couple more pictures down here at the bottom. Some very, very cool models in these frames. Um, I don't know why, but there's not some tells on these. As you can see, we have unbranded uh, China, seven, China Southern 77, uh, and then another model, and then a Continental. I don't know why some of them aren't, aren't look, 
uh, sorry, have labels on them. And then here's the Gemini Jets logo. Sorry about the focus. There's the Gemini Jets logo. And then here's another frame showing off the jet bridges in an Alaska 737-400. It said airport mats, airport vehicles, accessories, aircraft sold separately, six AA bat batteries included to light it up. And then you have the made for collectors by collectors and then the uh, one of 400 scale and the item number, which I probably should look up, but. Here's the side of the box, much of the same. And here's the other side. Sorry, you guys can't really see. It's huge, literally. Okay, I'll just turn my microphone around just to see if that helps. Okay, so here is the another picture of it, a little higher view, and then just all the details about it. Uh, Pre-constructed three-piece contemporary airport terminal, and then includes 22 movable passenger air bridges. Um, airport corporate uh, logos and stickers for the jet bridges. Uh, interior roof LED lighting, uh, movable rooftop trail cam, which we'll look at that in a minute, uh, realistic, authentic, detailed graphics, which they did have, I agree with, and multi-level <laughs> enhanced construction detail. I think it's just talking about the graph or the design of the concourse, which does look really very nice. So nothing on the box. Now let's take a look at the, um, I do want to look at the top. It's been in the closet for a long time. Just look at all that dust that is accumulated on the top. 2007, there it is, 2007, there it is. Oh yes, uh, we got the JetBlue A320 in American 767. That looks awesome, doesn't it? And then here on the bottom of the box, um, it's what it had on the back and then just really beat up. Um, I think I'm probably the second owner of this one. Um, like I said, it got sold on eBay. I'm not sure who the first owner was, but anyways. So here's what you get inside the box. Um, you have the box A, B, and C. Um, so most of my plastic pieces have went missing on these. So here's what one of the boxes looks like. It's pretty much one box per concourse piece. Now, unfortunately, um, I don't know what happened, but all my plastic pieces are gone. Normally you'd have plastic pieces in here that uh, show off, uh, have the concourse and then all the jet bridges and stuff. But I've since lost all of them. I don't know what happened. I know they came with them. I just don't know what happened. So here are the three boxes, but literally the plastic pieces are gone, which is very, very unfortunate. I don't know what happened. But anyways, that is the box. Very complex. But we will get into the actual concourse now. All right, everybody. So here it is. This is the Gemini Jets concourse, the original one, which is super, super cool. Uh, we'll go over each and everything in detail and then I'll put it all together at the end kind of just to show it off. But anyways, if you've seen my uh, retro updates, Dallas updates, you have seen this concourse on its full display. Uh, the very the first retro one, I put it all together like I had it back in the day. And then in the uh, retro one and the normal Dallas updates, you guys have seen this concourse many times. So this is all I use it for. I did use it as a primary airport setup for a very, very long time. However, um, as I wanted to do realistic replicas, it just didn't make much sense. So I've kind of peered it out and used it um, as, oh yeah, and then you guys have seen in my uh, storyline on that mat, which also that was kind of a big deal too, the add-on to stories. A lot of people, Gemini just 13, um, many people have used the mat with it, uh, the airport diorama mat that is, uh, Gemini just 3 through 3. They all used the mat, the airport diorama mat, because it was a little more compact and just had a lot of open area, which the Gemini Jets one didn't have. And only, um, it compact everything in a perfect uh, atmosphere and just really, really worked well. So anyways, um, we will review everything in depth. I do want to look at uh, some of the pieces and what you would get with this typically. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so like it said, you'd get 22 jet bridges. Now this is kind of, um, there was a, quite a few different jet bridge pieces that came with this. So here's uh, most of them. You normally get these single ones uh, with the, uh, for most of the gates. However, on the end of piece gates, there was a, quite a few different pieces that we'll go over here. So I have them all right here. So the first piece that you would get is you'd get two of these. These one on the corner for the uh, gates right next to it that would sit right here. So the corner's right here and then the gate right here. You get two of these pieces to accommodate that. Next up on one of the corners, you'd get this double bridge jet bridge piece. Uh, so you could have the double jet bridge in a little more compact state. Very, very cool piece. So these two pieces on the end of the concourse, there we go. At the end of the concourse, um, pretty much what you do, or sorry, at the end gates, the wide body gates, you guys have probably seen the replica before. These pieces would go just like this. So you have the double jet bridge and adjust it. Very, very cool pieces right here. Um, you got one for both sides, I believe. I think I only have this one. I think I have two of these right here. Now, the other one of these, I'm not sure. I'd have to look, but very, very cool to have uh, the pieces nevertheless. And then, of course, uh, for the A380s, they had the uh, long, uh, the third jet bridge that would go on top. You did get two of these pieces, a very long one for one side, and then 
another very long one. Uh, I think they both went on one side. Actually, it does. I will show you guys that here in a minute. But they both went on one side. So there's those. And then also, uh, here's what I have remains of for those. Um, as you can tell, these are kind of very hard. <laughs> uh very like not necessarily exclusive but like very unique pieces so as you can tell we have that high jet bridge and then the high ladder for it i still have most of this now the guy that i bought this off of he painted all of his stuff which is super cool so if you're wondering why they've always been gray and yellow that was from the original seller he painted those and then you have that very long uh ladder piece which is super cool and then it would go on one of, and then here's the other one it would go on one of those pieces so very cool now this window broke off on the other side we'll kind of go into detail about this but let's take a look at the concourse setup now okay so here is the concourse it's super super cool as you can tell we're gonna start with this piece this one would go on the um i think this one would uh whichever side it goes on one of the corners anyways so let's take a look let's start back over here so this is one of the pieces that goes on one of the ends so that's where the window would go uh mine's kind of deteriorated a little bit here are the two places where you put the wide body jet bridges and then we'll take a look at the roof here in a second uh just taking a look at the sides here real quick very very cool here's all the windows and jet bridges one thing that they did did that was cool was they had the inserts for the jet bridges these little um I guess plastic piece or whatever you put the jet bridge knob in there and it would sit very nicely so that's very very cool um awesome stuff and we'll light it up here in a second and everything just taking a look at it very very cool design i really like it and then you have these underneath places for your vehicles to go even though they didn't really fit but <laughs> it's not really a point oh my gosh i just found a uh G gsc piece always awesome to find some jet bridge pieces those have probably been in there for like five years or something man that's awesome to find those so uh, it will be great to add back to my GSC lineup. Okay, so anyways, back to the concourse now. Now we'll take a look at the roof. Very, very cool. Oh, sorry. So one of the coolest things is definitely the air train, or air train uh, that goes across. You got two of these pieces right here, two of these full trains. Very, very cool. They look awesome. Really hope to use them on the DFW Skylink one day. Maybe somehow find another two of them or something. That, they look really, really nice. They look awesome. And then, um, so here's the rest of the up top. You have the one flat side and the one like arch side. And then uh, here is the middle piece, as you can tell. Now that the retractable part they were talking about was this one or this one right here. Now the reason that this is retractable is actually because the battery placement for the lights is right here. You just lift that up and then, oh my gosh, look how old those Duracells are. But anyways, um, you put your batteries right there, as you can tell, and then light it up, of course. So it did fit in really well. They did a nice job like fitting it in. And um, yeah, and then you'd put that back on the magnetic and then that's where your trains would uh, essentially deep lane, <laughs> if you will. Uh, it's a very, oh my gosh, another one. You guys see that? This one's been beat the heck, but nevertheless, to find all that ground service equipment, dude, I'm just gonna be putting up, pulling that ground service equipment all day. But yeah, very, very cool. Obviously, the track got beat up on mine, but that's all right. And then normally, you'd have a little edge piece that would go right here, a little yellow piece. I, ha I have no idea where those are, so anyways. Very, very cool in that one. And then the uh, if you guys are wondering, these uh, end pieces are obviously very detachable. Uh, here it is. There's one of the windows that has survived, but they're just magnetic. You just place it on there, and boom, you're good to go. So let's take a look at the middle concourse now. Definitely going to be uh, looking out for those pieces. Okay, so here is the middle one um very similar setup now these two this is the wide body side as you can tell or sorry that's another corner piece let's take a look at the middle okay so here's another one of those very very cool um now this is the wide body side you'll have less knobs over here to fit your jet bridges and then on the other side there is the other train of mine right there and i will show you guys the light up because i forgot to do that rest in peace now on this side this is the narrow body side you have more pieces of course more places now I do see a little jet bridge piece, so I'll get that out. Now here's the top, it's a very similar outlook. Uh, this part is removable for the batteries right there. And then here's how it lights up. You got a button, very simple, press it. Uh, those batteries are very, very low. Okay guys, sorry my camera went out, but anyways, you can see them, there they go. So as you can tell, four lights on the sides. Uh, those batteries are real bad, so they're probably not working very well. So very very cool piece right there now here is the middle conch or sorry the other end concourse piece this is where the high jet bridges go very very cool as well uh very sim uh very similar sorry um, i don't see anything in the top of this one just making sure because like i'll take any gsc but nevertheless find a little bit very very cool uh these pieces have fell out over time but that's all right now over here this piece i've been trying to keep it together but unfortunately if you can't tell it's definitely seen its better days so 
Uh, very, very tough stuff right there that keeps falling apart, but it's all right. Now, actually, I will grab the piece here because actually, as you can tell, there's a little socket right here, and that's where your high jet bridge would go uh, on the wide body gate. Uh, as you can tell, it's not really one to go in there for obvious reasons, just because of how beat up it is, but that's how it would work. And it would just peer out like that, like, uh, I wish I had not, but anyways, just like that. So very, very cool right there. Um, what a piece. So thank you guys so much for watching this review on the OG Gemini Jets Tournament, if you want to call it that, or the first ever iteration. I hope you guys enjoyed. It is a super cool piece, and if you can find it on eBay or wherever, I would highly recommend it if you get it for a good price. Obviously, um, it just depends on like your status. If you just want to be really go complete OG to get it for the Madden and everything, I would highly recommend it. But the new... Uh, uh, roundabout one or whatever it's called that one's still really good in my opinion they're honestly very very similar if you want to go there so if you're not big on the like uh antiqueness of this one i would definitely try to get that new one um but just honestly um this was back when i wasn't like a crafty person i wasn't very good at building things but that was just a little reason why i decided to get this concourse now with the new stuff obviously i build my own concourses now and all that sort of thing so it just makes more sense to just do that rather than buy a whole complex and with all these model airports and everything it just makes more sense star alliance man is another one with the new concourse pieces but maybe in the future i'll get the mat and the new concourse pieces back like when i'm in the future when i the model airports are, aren't like a something I do consistently type of deal and just have it nice laid out and just move some planes around, make some nice looks and stuff. That'll be a goal of mine in the future. Um, definitely very, very excited for those days. But nevertheless, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe, guys. Trust the process. Do what you love and love what you do. My name is Red Deer of Aviation. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon as Red Deer of Aviation is signing off.